Prosecutors say he killed his weeks old daughter and a pattern of abuse followed. The defense for the man once known as Silly the Clown says it's just pure speculation for a case that dates back decades. Bill Niston joins us live as the first day of testimony wrapped up in the Ronald Schrader homicide trial. Bill, what happened? Yeah, well, hey there, Ben and Steph. This case dates back to 1991. Witnesses have died. Ronald Schrader's defense says this is, quote, a medical prosecution based on speculation for events that happened long ago. But prosecutors say that there are only two people who could have caused the little girl's death, but only one fits a pattern of abuse for years. Only two people in the entire world had the opportunity and ability to silence this child's life at the age of seven weeks. In August 1991, Ronald Schrader lived at this Greenfield apartment with his wife and infant daughter. Prosecutors say Schrader was the last one with his daughter, Catherine, before 911 was called. Did the baby have any sort of pulse? According to the um, document, no. Retired Greenfield firefighter and paramedic Gary Bauer says the seven-week-old was in cardiac and respiratory arrest. She had dilated pupils, was comatose, and probably dead. Was the baby breathing at all? No. Catherine was taken to Children's Hospital. Doctors were concerned about possible child abuse. There was already an open case with Child Protective Services. I noted that they were both very calm. David Novi interviewed the Schraders. Schrader's wife said she and Catherine were in a minor car crash days prior, when the baby wasn't feeling well, maybe had a cold, and had trouble eating recently including the night Schrader came home from work. If your brain is not getting blood flow, your brain is not alive. Hours later, the little girl was declared brain dead. She had brain bleeds and severe brain trauma. The diagnosis at the time was a shaken baby syndrome. Schrader's defense says the case is based on speculation. As we sit here today in 2024, we don't know any more than we did back then. The case was investigated for years and no charges filed. What else does he have? The answer is absolutely nothing. Now testimony will resume in the morning. The trial is expected to go into next week. Reporting live outside the courthouse in Milwaukee, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. We know you're going to keep following it, Bill, for us. Thank you.